today we have a full explosive workout using dumbbells only. If you guys have any other questions, please comment, please DM me on Instagram. Um, other than that, enjoy this workout. All right, so we're gonna have two set of dumbbells, okay? I want you guys to have a heavy set of dumbbells and then I want you guys to have a small set of dumbbells, okay? So for my small set, this is 20 pounds. For the heavy set, this is 35 pounds. First thing we got, drop squats, okay? All we're doing, we're starting on the tippy toes and we're absorbing that force, flat footed, <coughs> catching ourselves at the bottom, all right? Teaching our bodies to absorb that force, prepping our joints, prepping our knees, prepping everything so that we can produce force efficiently, okay? So with this, <coughs> catch it at the bottom, pause for two seconds. Force absorption is everything. That's what allows your body to stop on a dime, to cut, to actually elicit force in an efficient manner. So just make sure you guys prep your body that right way before any time of day. We're going heavy holds, putting our time under tension. We're putting our knees, putting our joints under tension, and we're gonna explode up. All right, so with this, we're going one, two, three seconds down, hold at the bottom for three seconds, <coughs> slow it up. One, two, three. Nice, slow hold, <coughs> slow it up. All right, with those, the slower the better, the more time under tension, the better. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna go three sets of three, okay? All this is doing is priming, Developing that strength within the joints, developing that strength within the quads, prepping the body to be able to produce force, all right? When you develop that solid foundation, that's what allows you to be able to produce force in that vertical plane, in any plane, really, efficiently. A lot of people rush going down to the bottom. Make sure you're conscious of going down slow and controlled, all right? Don't rush. Always understand, the more time under tension, the better. <coughs> so it's all right if you go four seconds down, Four seconds hold, it don't matter. <coughs> now, from the last exercise, we're gonna go jump squats. All right, so grab your small pair. I love pairing these two together. Use them as a contrast. That way we can produce more force, all right? Kind of tricks the body into thinking that it's more stronger than what it is because the body just got done lifting that heavy weight. Now we're going to a lightweight exercise. I want you guys already started in that loaded position. From here, <coughs> jump, absorb force at the bottom. All right, make sure that you triple extend. Okay, I don't want the body still bent. I want you guys fully extending, getting everything straight. All right, so we're here. We got three sets of these. Four, four reps. Right there, everything efficient. You want to produce force in that vertical plane as fast as possible. All right, that's our focus with this one. It's speed in the upper plane, that's it. I don't care for anything else, you want speed. If you have trouble on that landing, that's perfectly fine. We'll work on that, but produce the force in that vertical plane as fast as possible. Second set, same focus. If you're still breathing hard, your legs are shaky, take some more time, all right? You wanna perform this one, especially this exercise, at 100%, close to it. Same concept, start loaded. In that same position that we was holding it. All right, last set, let's get money. We got four. All right, so we're going to simulate now. All right, we got that big dumbbell. All we're doing is simulate hip extension. Okay, we're going to hold at the top. So we're here. Spin the hip, okay? Two things, at this position, I want you guys having that leg straight, okay? I don't want it to where you guys come up and you're still bent, trying to maintain balance, all right? Focus here, fully extend that hip, push that hip behind you, all right? That's the mentality, that way the leg's fully straight, okay? You're going glute activation, that's gonna help you activate your glutes, that's gonna teach your glutes to fire, okay? So, also, in that up position, I want the core fully engaged, okay? I don't want your core loose to where you're able to get knocked off balance. It needs to be locked, tight. That way it's hard for you to get pushed off balance, okay? Lastly, make sure that you guys utilize your foot as well, okay? The 
foot is what's going to help you maintain that balance as well. I want everything working together, all right? From the foot to the core to the hip to the glute, everything needs to be working together. We're going to shoot up, focus the speed upward with this. This is my weaker leg. Whatever your weaker leg is, I like going extra reps to eliminate that muscle imbalance, but you don't have to. Second set, make sure you got you some good rest. All right, same concept. We got another set, four reps. Speed up, all right? We want stability at the top. So we're in the seated position. From there, all we're doing is lifting, exploding up in that vertical plane. All right, so we're here, and it's With those, we have two sets of five. All right, gotta understand. You need good rest in between every rep, all right? This is how you're gonna develop that explosive power. You gotta understand that a lot of people rush it. It fatigues the muscle. The lack of rest fatigues the muscle. When the muscle's fatigued, there's no explosive development. When you're trying to develop explosiveness, you have, your body has to operate as fast as possible. That's how you develop, all right? You need speed in order to develop explosiveness. You need high functional muscles in order to develop explosiveness. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Next set, let's get money. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, get our small set. From there, we're gonna come down to a lateral lunge, bringing that dumbbell down to our ankle. Uh, Explode back. Uh, all right, make sure that you produce uh, as much force as possible, all right? You really wanna get a good push off uh, with that leg. All right, we're gonna go three sets of four. Get at me, let me know, all right? And to help push my channel, man, I appreciate y'all. If y'all like the video for your boy, subscribe to your boy too, please. Much love, y'all have a good one.